हेलो एवरीवन लेट्स डिस्कस अबाउट द लैक्टिक एसिडोसिस विच इज ए मेटाबॉलिक कॉम्प्लिकेशन ऑफ डायबिटीज मेलेटस सो दिस लैक्टिक एसिडोसिस इज ए अनकॉमन कंडीशन एंड दिस लैक्टिक एसिडोसिस इज सीन इन पेशेंट हु आर ऑन ट्रीटमेंट विथ बाय गोनेट्स एंड दिस बाय गोनेट्स आर फिन फॉर्मिन एंड मैट फॉर्मिन हाउ एवर दिस लैक्टिक एसिडोसिस इज common with finformin and this is rarely seen with the metformin treatment and this metabolic lactic acidosis uh, is usually present with the patient who are having uh, hepatic renal and respiratory failure let's see the classification of this uh, lactic acidosis this uh, lactic acidosis uh, conditions can be classified uh, according to uh, it's a uh, etiology uh, in two categories type a and type b this type a is uh, resulting from tissue hypoxia like conditions and these conditions are first one is shock if shock like condition uh, develops in the patient and this shock like condition can be due to the cardiogenic shock hypovolemic shock or endotoxic shock because of any toxin apart from that uh, lactic acidosis can also develop by the cardiac failure if any asphyxia like conditions and carbon monoxide poisoning is there so uh, this type a is due to the tissue hypoxia like condition however this type b of lactic lactic acidosis can develop because of some systemic disorder which consist of diabetes neoplasia and liver disease apart from that uh, lactic acidosis can also develop by some drugs and toxins as we have already discussed that bigonates which are uh, hypoglycemic uh, agents can also lead to development of lactic acidosis acidosis apart from that if person is consuming ethanol methanol or salicylate then uh, this lactic acidosis can also be developed lactic acidosis as is also seen in some inborn errors of metabolism apart from that if uh, deal uh, uh, if abnormal gut flora is there in the uh, intestine so this can lead to d lactic acidosis let's see how this bigonates develop the condition of lactic acidosis so during bigonate therapy anaerobic glucose uh, metabolism uh, generates the lactate from the splanchnic tissues and this splanchnic tissues are stomach small intestine large intestine pancreas spleen liver and apart from that kidney as well and this bigonates therapy affects the condition of production of lactate as well as the clearance of lactate from the circulation so this will uh, lead to increase in concentration of lactate in the body apart from that it is also noticed that hepatic lactate utilization is reduced and uh, why this hepatic lactate utilization is reduced because of there is inhibition of glucose neogenesis means production of glucose from some other substrate like lactate as Uh, there is no hepatic gluconeogenesis is uh, taking uh, getting at uh, uh, liver so there will be less or no utilization of the uh, lactate this lactic acidosis like condition is 10 to 15 times more common with bigonate finformin however it is rare with metformin it is the reason why this uh, nowadays this finformin has been withdrawn uh, in many of the countries to use for the uh, diabetes like conditions however this metformin associated lactic acid which is known as mala is a very rare condition and this condition is uh, this uh, this metformin uh, develops lactic acidosis only when there is some comorbidities present in the patient like cardiac failure or renal insufficiency let's see how this metformin associated lactic acidosis mala like uh, condition is developed 
when uh, as we have already discussed that this uh, metformin can cause lactic acidosis only when there are some other comorbidities are present in the patient for example in this uh, patient patient is having acute kidney injury or uh, there is hypovolemia like condition so in both the conditions this uh, level of this metformin will increase in the body and this increase in metformin level will uh, lead to inhibition of some of the enzymes like pyruvate carboxylase which are involved in the condition of gluconeogenesis and as there is inhibition of gluconeogenesis so pyruvate will not be converted into the glucose apart from that this increase in concentration of metformin will also lead to inhibition of mitochondrial electron transport chain etc and this uh, inhibition will lead to conversion of pyruvate into the lactate and ultimately there will be increase in concentration of lactate in the body and this will lead to condition of lactic acidosis let's see what are the clinical features which will be seen in a case of lactic acidosis so there will be altered mentation hypotension may be there cyanosis can be developed patient can have hyperventilation tachycardia cardia may be there vomiting and abdominal pain can be there in the person and person can have cold extremities also let's see how uh, this uh, condition of lactic acidosis can be diagnosed by the uh, lab findings so we need to do uh, some uh, investigations like uh, we need to calculate high anion uh, gap as this is very common in this acidosis like conditions we need to also calculate the serum uh, lactate level as uh, there is increase in concentration of lactate in the body and if serum lactate is more than 1 uh, milli equivalent uh, per liter then uh, we can say that person is having lactic acidosis like condition let's discuss how we will manage this condition of lactic acidosis so uh, we need to maintain the hydration level of the person it is very important we need to pro provide him intravenous bicarbonate to overcome the condition of uh, acidosis and also as there is increase in level of lactate in the body so we need to carry out the dialysis to remove this lactate apart from that we need to infuse uh, 5% uh, dextrose solution along with the uh, insulin thanks for watching this video please uh, like and share this video with others thank you so much